<sighs> it is 5.22 in the morning, Wednesday, May 6th. Sunrise is at 5.30. Haven't really slept today. Sun's starting to peek through. More importantly, uh, well, we'll go out for a hike this morning. Early morning hike. And we got this creature here who uh, looks like she doesn't want to get up right now. But she's going to have to. Hey. Hey. You want to go for a hike? Well, somebody else does. He knows that. He knows that sign. Danny, what about you? You want to go? Yeah, all right. Let's go. Good old Route 66. Cyrus, where are we going, buddy? Danny, where are we going? Huh? Yeah. You know what's up. <laughs> Stop, Danny had to use the bath bathroom. Come on, girl, just like a woman. Kappa, get in here. here we are, we are Rogers Lake. Hey, you gotta practice good oral hygiene, or not oral hygiene, <laughs> good hygiene, social distancing. It is 6.13 in the morning. Finally got out here. Beautiful. The sun is rising. There's the mountain. Rogers Lake. It's more like a marsh right now. Cool, cool spot here in Flag. Uh, we are here. We're going to walk along the edge of the lake, cross the, the, the road here, and we're going to do the Gold Digger Trail. Uh, uh, here, this is where we'll find my, my ex-girlfriend on this trail, all the way up at the top. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> we might go all the, we might try out the Woody Mountain Firewatch, maybe, we'll try it out, we'll see, we'll see how we feel when we get up here, come all the way back down, and it spits us out right here. It's a beautiful morning, it's like 45, 50 degrees right now, Fahrenheit. Dogs are excited. Danny's so excited she still has her leash on. She doesn't want to take it off for whatever reason. Are we going to look in there? Nah, we don't want COVID. All right. Well, Let's go.
finished that straight along path along Rogers Lake. We had two spot trouble before it splits off into Gold Digger. And we gotta go through this gate right here. This gate right here. And we're Gooch. Oh, to be a dog. To be a dog out here. Danny, you being a bully to Cyrus right now. I need you to stop. I'm gonna need you to stop. All right. Cyrus. Cyrus, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Coming here to the junction. Cyrus knows which way to go. Gold Digger Trail. I'm blue. Where's Danny? There she is. All right. All right, brother. Show me where to go. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful, serene, peaceful, quiet, meditating, thinking about you guys. Hope you're all having an awesome, an awesome day. Awesome morning. Man, what I would do for a cup of coffee right now, geez. But uh, remember to take some time to get some fresh air from all your gaming. I know you guys are probably putting a lot of miles in WoW or Rainbow Six or whatever, sprinting around. Hey, get some, get some miles out here in the IRL. It's good for you. It's good for you. All right, I'm gonna shut up, turn off the camera, cause I need to breathe. Oh, some cactus. Yikes. All right. Been at it for about an hour. That's wrong, it's probably about two and a half miles. I started this a little late, probably like 15, 20 minutes into the hike. Yeah, we're cruising, we're cruising.
start seeing tops of some of these cinder hills. Out there, you can kind of see the peaks behind the trees. There's Rogers Lake down there. All the way from up here, you can see the, the water down there in the lake. Down at the actual shore, just looks like wetland marsh. Up here, you can actually look down on the water. But yeah, still cruising, baby. Still cruising. Oh, the dogs are enjoying themselves. Danny's gotten herself a little tired now. She's a little bit more uh, receptive to commands. A little puppy, you know. You gotta tire them out in order for them to listen to you sometimes. Cyrus, shit, he's he's been tired since we got here. <laughs> nah, he's he's like, look, dude, I got miles on me. I know what I gotta do. He just lurks right next to me the whole time. Get that right, buddy. All right. Take a, little, take a little break here. Hang out for a minute, let the dogs get some water. Oh yeah, they know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just hang out for a bit. Got a little bit of quaking aspen here. Populus tremuloides. Oh, they're growing some aspen there, or protecting some aspen that's growing rather than not growing. But, yeah. All right. Uh, how do we do this? Cyrus is on top of the table right now. Uh, actually, let's flip it back over. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> cool. Cool. Yeah, just hanging out here, you know, sitting at this table. This is a parks and recreation land. Um, they develop it for people to use. It's not a hard trail. It's considered intermediate. I yeah, I think it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. It's not too far from um, from town. Um, easy to easy to get to. The roads are pretty well maintained, and the, the trail is well maintained and, and simple. Simple. Um, so, parks and rec decided, you know, hey, we'll put a little hut out here. People can come out here and probably hike, hang out for a little bit, rest, eat, all that jazz, you know. But. Um, yeah, I, I just decided this morning to just wake up, and I say wake up, I probably slept for like an hour. It's more like nap during the middle of the night. Um, just get up and go, man. I don't know. I've been itching to do something like this for a while. Been quarantined, right? It's supposed to be, but hey, there's nobody out here. Um, this table here, I suppose, but whatever. <sighs> well, yeah, for the past, I don't know, few months, it's I've been thinking about what what do I want to be doing as far as, like, Wild Heart is concerned. And not just Wild Heart, but, like, in my life in general. Um, I'm into gaming. I'm into the outdoors. I'm into dogs. I'm into people. I like people, believe it or not. Um, I like community, fellowship, spending time with with one another, loving, being in love, you know. Um, all all that, all, all the stuff that humans like. Uh, but I have been debating whether I want to compete in video games since Heroes of the Storm, right? Uh, then I got into Rainbow Six, then Valorant came out, 
Then I've been going back and forth, how sweaty do I want to be with games. And then recently I rediscovered my joy, my love for just gaming in general. Not everything has to be sweaty all the time. Um, recently played some God of War, the PS4 version, for the first time. Incredible. I'm having a blast with it. Um, and, yeah, and just watching my buddies play games that they love. Sasa, EZ, the the boy Sasa out there in Brazil, um, he's been playing World of Warcraft. And game, you know, he's been grinding. It's been it's it's been fun to watch him grind and to watch him enjoy something that he loves and is passionate about. Um, and uh, Brown Baller with Smash and and with Hots with Heroes of the Storm. Um, and anyway, we, I was talking to Sasa the other day, and I was asking him like, "Hey, if you could play Hots for the rest of your life, or I'm sorry, if you could play one game for the rest of your life." Uh, what game would that be? And he gave me three options. He said, World of Warcraft, which he was at playing during that time when I asked him that question. Heroes of the Storm, which he used to play and stream a lot. And Dota 2, which he still plays from time to time and streams from time to time. But lately it's been a while. And uh, he loves those games. He loves being able to play against other people and try to be the best that he can um, in that game. And then he asked me the same question. What game do you think that, you know, you would play? The one game you would play for the rest of your life. And I hadn't really, like, thought about it too much. And then it hit me. And I was like, is it hot? Is it here's the storm? Is it Rainbow Six? Like, what, what is it? Is it Valorant? And I just, couldn't, I just couldn't figure it out. And then all of a sudden, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. I was like, you know what? The one game that I would probably if i had to play one game for the rest of my life and enjoy it and love it it would be guitar hero or rock band um some of you may know that i grew up playing those games got super sweaty in those games for myself um like to show off for the for the girls at the at the parties you know <laughs> uh for my friends and to play with my friends and stuff and um and i love music music is a Big, big, big part of my life. I'm watching my dogs over there. They're trying to get into the Aspen Grove. Hey, this way. Good boy. Cyrus is on his way. Danny just looked at me. Goes back to sniffing that corner. Okay, here she comes. You hear that? That's Woodpecker. I don't know if you guys can hear that. You can hear the knocking. If it does it again, I'll point it out. Anyways, Guitar Hero. Music. I love music. Talking about music. Sharing music. Discovering new music. Um, and I was like, yeah, you know, let's get back into that. And I played some Guitar Hero. Loved it. Played some Rock Band for the boys. Loved it. It was a great time. And I was like, man, this is what I want to be doing. I just want to be playing video games again for fun. Spending time with people. I like to sweat to a certain extent at this point, I think. I don't like to sweat to the point where I'm not enjoying the game anymore. And that's where I was getting with Heroes of the Storm. That's where I'm, where I'm getting with Rainbow Six. And I quickly got that way with Valorant. And I get too sweaty. And I got buddies that, ah, let's just play casually. Yeah, but it becomes a chore. It's over and over. You know, I don't know. To me, it becomes a chore. I like, the, I like the good vibes. I like the just vibe. I love to play games with music. One of the reasons I enjoyed playing Hot so much was I could put on some music and just vibe, play as best as I could, enjoy the music. Part of the reason why I got tired of Valorant and Rainbow Six is I couldn't really listen to music. Sound is so important in those games. If you flood it with music, you're just doing yourself a disservice. So, Guitar Hero makes sense. Games with their own music, like God of War. Makes sense, but anyways, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say with all this, I guess. Oh, Wild Heart, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just rambling. I'm taking, yeah, anyways. Um, for me, for me, my my personal role, what I want to be doing with Wild Heart is just 
bringing people together, enjoying good vibes, hanging out, playing games, talking about games, spending time with each other. Um, and I know I've, I've got friends that want to be sweaty in games and they want to compete. We've got the Rainbow Six team. Um, you know, people, if people, we got, we got Brown Bala playing Smash. Um, they want to be the best and, and compete. Uh, Sasa wants to be the best pvp -er. you know, the best streamer, like, and I, I, you know, I want to support those things. I, I don't want to do those things anymore, but they do. So I'm going to use this platform to uplift, encourage others to do their passions to follow their passions and support them every single step of the way and i want to use environments like this to as another tool to bring people together and to talk about things like this out here in peace and quiet with nature and encourage you guys to go out there and do the same you may not have forests and mountains and trails like this but you might you might have some parks you might have beaches um lakes Whatever, you know, um, just get out there and do something different, explore. Uh, life is wild, man. Life is, life is a trip. Uh, I, I used to say life's a trip because I was, had some psychedelic experiences, <laughs> had some trippy experiences. We'll just say that. Um, but you know, I, I changed to life is wild because it's the same, it's the same thing, but I think it, it's, it fits this style a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys can uh, enjoy this video. Um, enjoy the company, each other's company, each other's presence, each other's fellowship. Uh, play new games. Talk about games. Music. Go and do this stuff. Go find other people. Compete. Do whatever that you want to do and support each other. And I support you guys. I love every single one of you. Thank you all for hanging out with me from the hot days to now. Anybody else that's new that's seeing this, um, you know, appreciate you, love you, um, and um, yeah, I'm excited for the future. So uh, let's get back on this hike. Yeah, we've been at it for about 10 minutes. Let's keep going. And we're coming to another fork in the road here. Um, this one is simple. Let me go down, keep going. Gold Digger Trail, all the way towards the end of the trail. And we have a scenic lookout up here. It's kind of a climb, but it's worth it. It's my favorite part of the hike. And we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. All right, I'll see you up at the top.